Question is, if I think University of Houston needs a private jet, like Kelvin suggested, to go, not to games, it's for recruiting purposes. Because coups do charter to go to the games. Coach Sampson does not want a private jet. Let me say it again. Hopefully the audio is better. Coach Sampson does not want a private jet, private plane. Coach Sampson wants, and I looked it up because he mentioned it last, was that Wednesday? Tuesday, whatever. When he spoke to Wednesday, that's Wednesday. He mentioned, he said a phrase. He said he wants Houston Athletics to have its own net jet, net jet hours. NetJet is a company. NetJet is a fleet of private planes. NetJet, that is the name of the company. Coach Sampson wants UH to have its own account, UH Athletics, to have its own account with NetJet. Not a private plane, an account with NetJet to have their own NetJet hours. When Coach Sampson mentioned it, he said, right now, the way things are set up, he has to use the NetJet hours from UH alums. He doesn't want to have to rely on the alums who have NetJet accounts. He wants UH Athletics to have its own NetJet account and have its own NetJet hours. That's what he's talking to, talking about. Uh, <clears throat> couldn't Kelvin just use Tillman's jet like the Astros do? Again, it's not. It's not just about Kelvin. It's about the all the coaches, the head coaches at UH, Coach Fritz, volleyball, basketball. When it comes to recruiting. Is one jet? The coach can't fly. If the if Coach Fritz and Coach Sampson have to go two different places, they can't use the same jet at the same time. UH had has its own account with a private company. Then they could schedule. Okay, I need plane one. He or she needs plane two. Same date, same time, but we're going to two different places. No problem, UH, we, we got that handled. We got you covered. We'll take care of it. That's the issue. The price that I mentioned last Thursday is still the same, still a quarter million dollars. But it's about UH Athletics having its own account for net jet hours. I did some more checking, and there are other, obviously, companies, private charter that, that charter have their own fleet of planes and i don't know the price difference if it's better or worse or whatever but there are some here based in houston that the money like i said the money two hundred fifty thousand dollars or whatever it is for a year that's for a year per year that's a lot to me that's, that's a hell of a lot to me but to a quote unquote power program, a program that claims to want to compete for championships, that should not be anything but a drop in the bucket. So that is the issue. NetJet Hours, that is a name of a company. The company is NetJet. And I think the website, I mean, hell, I'm giving all, all this pub, you know. And, they're not paying me squat. But hell, I'll let your boy if you want to, you know. And see, D skills, D skills is money guy. He knows these things, you know. Many companies use jet services as it's cheaper than buying one. Not sure why UH is being so cheap if they need it. And they need it. They need it. It's apparent they need it. But yeah, Rex, I get I get your point here. OC salary because he makes seven fifty. You are correct. A third, yeah, you got it right there, seven fifty. 
Coach Barbe, yeah. And these skills brings it up. The question is if UH actually wants to do what it takes to win big. That's the question right there, everybody. Justin, Rex, Miss Wanda. Does UH truly understand, realize what it takes to compete to win championships at the higher level of athletics? Do they understand that? And then if they understand it, are they willing to get it done? Uh, I know, I know your LOL, Justin, and I know where you're going with it. I mean, you know, my answer, yeah, he needs it. And the next head coach needs it too. Assuming there will be a next head coach, women's basketball head coach, because it aids in recruiting. It's easier to get to tournaments to see a star player or a, a workout at that high school or, or whatever at eight in the morning, if it's in Florida or Philadelphia or Chicago or California, whatever, fly there, fly back, go see another recruit. But it comes down to it. Let me, let me put this up one more time. Many companies use jet services as it's cheaper than buying one. That is what Coach Sampson is referred to last week, is a company that provides jet services, not his own private plane. He's not talking about that. Some folks, what is Coach talking about? He knows, blah, blah, blah. If, you, if you want a private plane, go ahead and pay, buy it, and all, all that kind of stuff. You know, he's an employee of the university. But anyhow, <clears throat> so... Excellent, excellent line right here, Miss Wanda Polk, the queen of supporters of the Houston Round Ball Review. We want championships on a Walmart budget. I need to make a shirt out of that. We want championships on a Walmart budget. In fact, let me see if I have Miss Wanda what, coming from the top rope. Let me see if I have the sound effect for that. Let me see. I hope I do. Uh, here we go. And a bing for being correct. And then again, kiss here. And one more time. We want championships on a Walmart budget. Ms. Wanda, you have won the quote of the day. Salute, salute, salute. Okay. Bobby asks, is UH planning on getting its own jet services or will it continue using boosters? The plan is to get their own account. <laughs> I just I'll say like that. That is the point. That is what I've heard. I think Mr. De Nunez understands that, understands the need of that, the importance of it. Working to make it happen. So yes. D Skill says, I would argue that they're trying to do with a big lots budget. <laughs> and Justin, I agree with you right here. I'll give it to Kelvin. He is constantly pushing UAs to be better. He has worked in big programs and coached in the NBA. He knows what works. I'm going to give you a salute as well for that because you are correct. <laughs> and he continues to receive headway, headwinds. for wanting to bring UH forward and push UH forward and, and strive for UH athletics to be better. Y'all heard it, y'all hear in the comments all the time. Any, any chance he, he has to make a point 
with the media, he does so. So that that's where it's coming from. It's not a you know, it's not from coach trying to it's all about that's not all about him, nothing like that. He wants UH athletics to be the best that it can be.